Yes, people, welcome back to my channel, Albert J T V. To my subscribers, thank you for being loyal again. Um, let's get straight into this, man. So, transfer talk, rumor mill, whatever you want to call it. Um, two players we're going to talk about today is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, our club captain, our go-to guy, and again, I'm going to touch on Emmy. Martinez. First, I'm going to start with Aubameyang. Now, uh, many people would have seen a lot of media outlets reporting that the deal is actually done and hopefully it's going to be very, very, very imminent that it's going to be announced. And I think a lot of Arsenal fans are probably a little bit worried that, you know, why is it sort of taken so long for it to be announced? And, you know, ideally, um, going into the first game of the season against Fulham tomorrow, you'd want it sort of done and dusted. And I think that would be very, very good timing for that to happen. So, you know, reportedly they're saying that the deal, free deal for Aubameyang is, you know, initially 250 grand a week, um, rising to a point with obviously bonuses and whatever has been put in the contract in terms of the agreement that he will end up eventually probably being, including bonuses, Arsenal's highest paid player ever. Um, so, yeah, bumper deal of capital letters. So, yeah, officially, I'd like to see that announced, hopefully today, <laughs> before um, our first game of the season away to Fulham. Um, it would just be a bit of a boost, to be honest, and, you know, take a bit more focus away from, you know, Aubameyang, and then we can concentrate and kind of hone in on what our other transfer targets are. So, yeah, just hopefully this will get over you be done and dusted, you know. You know, Bamyang came in January 2018, I believe it was. 71 goals in 110 appearances. Um, was accused of not performing in big games. He put that to bed with, you know, the braces against Manchester City and Chelsea and a scoring a fantastic goal in the community shoot against Liverpool. Brilliant finish. Um, and to be performing to that level in a team that's consecutively finished in fifth and eighth in the last two Premier League outings. It's phenomenal goal scoring. We just need to get the players around him um, to share the workload. But yeah, hopefully that gets tied up. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, and that leads me on to, um, again, talking about Emmy Martinez now. Again, reading certain news and media outlets. Um, Villa are really, really keen on him. And I think the initial bid was, apparently there was two bids. Second bid was around 15 million, but it's rumoured to believe Villa are going to, you know, put the bid up to the asking price of 20 million. The, the rumour I sort of saw, sort of through media outlets, was that they was going to table a 17 and a half million pound bid with add-ons, so the deal would actually be worth 22 million. Um, I said my thoughts about Martinez before, and I'll say them again, just for those who haven't heard them. Um, he would go into the season as the number one. Um, yes, both goalkeepers are fit. I do not downplay what um, Bern Leno has done because I think he's been outstanding since he's been at Arsenal. Um, but Martinez has been exceptional. Um, he's been at Arsenal 10 years. It's a long time. Um, and we're in a position at Arsenal where it's a headache, but you've got two goalkeepers who really should be number one. There's not many... F football clubs in the Premier League that can turn around and say that, but Arsenal can. And as much as it be, might be sad to see Martinez go and he deserves his chance. And I see a lot of uproar of Arsenal fans, oh, don't sell him, you know, unless you get like 30 million. That might not happen. Um, like I said, if the rumours are true, for me, anything in excess of 20 million, take the money and run. Um, you know, as I said before, I'm not really a sentiment person. It, it's football, it happens. You know, we want players to stay, they go. Um, we want players that are going to make the squad better, 100%. Um, but, you know, with the goalkeeper position, it's, you're just a goalkeeper, you can't play anywhere else. Like a, an outfield player, you know, like a utility player or, you know, our own North London, Kimmich in Ainsley Maitland Niles. Um, Arsenal players can be played in different positions, but goalkeepers, you're just a goalkeeper. So, you know, he's made desire that he wants to be Argentine number one. He wants first team football. You know, the rumours are Villa willing to pay, um, you know, it's a four year contract, is it? Um, 60 grand a week, which is a lot more than what he's on at Arsenal. But yeah, you know, if Emmy Martinez goes, good luck to him, man. Um, goes with my blessing 100%. You know, 
people I say people talk about oh it's Villa but listen it's I say it to people listen it's not whether it's Villa or Madrid Barcelona Macos full time if you want first team football and you know you're going to be a guaranteed first team football at another club why would you not go um, so you know if he goes Martinez he goes um, but it'd be key tomorrow actually to see now people said to me if Berlino starts in goal tomorrow then Martinez is definitely going I don't necessarily believe that we, we've seen players play for clubs and still go so if Martinez plays tomorrow and still leaves Arsenal, it can happen. It's not It's not impossible. Um, but, yeah, those are my thoughts, man. So, guys, drop your comments down below. Tell me what you thought about Aubameyang. Is it going to be done today? Hopefully, by the time I get this video out pretty quickly. Um, yeah, rumoured that he's going to be the best, highest-paid player, Arsenal player ever. Obviously, that includes bonuses within the agreement contract. Um your thoughts again on Emmy Martinez? What's your feelings? Are you, you know, are you a case of anything in in excess of twenty million plus? Take the money and run. Do you want him to stay? Not only do you want him to stay, who do you think should be on goal on Saturday and be the Arsenal number one? So much to get through, my fellow Gooners. But yeah, that as you know the drill by now. Click, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button when my content comes out. Check the link in the description. Get me on social media, on my Twitter and Instagram. That is me, Albert J T V. over and out. Hashtag Abamiang, hashtag Martinez.